Well, welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. We're flying. To Japan. We're on that plane right now, heading to Japan. Sweet. I want to go to Japan. Also, today I got Tears HTML with me. How you doing, Tears? Hello, everybody. Apparently, we're going to Japan. <laughs> we're in Japan. Those lovely aquariums. It's a nice-looking aquarium. Yeah. Well, if any place is going to have a huge-ass aquarium that you'll shove random shit into, it's going to be Japan. I'll give you that. <laughs> Works for me. Japan just loves to take a random shit like, hey, can we stick this in the aquarium and not have it die? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> no. And or yes. Like the sea captain. We heard she was in this room, or he, I don't know. Japanese with gender pronouns, not a thing. I love how they're so professional to come ask this lady about stuff. We're a bunch of random scuba divers. You may have heard of us, we're famous. She's a professor. She's a doctor, a professor, and she knows everything about everything, apparently. And she's too young and pretty to be a professor. <laughs> apparently. I was expecting some fat-ass nerd man. We don't know shit about anything. Wait, wait, we got... We, <laughs> what did we publish our adventures in a journal? Wait, yes, we totally did that, yes. Sure, go for it. Yeah. That's right, yeah, I'm, I'm a super diver, I guess. That's what. And Nadine's totally down with being a super diver, apparently. I don't know. Accept all praise. <laughs> I refuse to believe that that man is a famous salvager. Well, other people think he is, so there you go. I refuse. Famous asshole GG. <laughs> Famous not scrubbing my fucking boat, GG. Yeah, we got this ancient artifact. Can you read this stupid thing? The internet has no idea. <laughs> the story so far. Swimming, diving, a thing. Here you go. And then we went to Dracula's castle. <laughs> Dracula, you have my full attention. And then that guy showed up. Why are you even in your wetsuit? I, <laughs> I didn't think you'd come down here dressed like a clown. Whoa! That's all I can imagine is with him doing that hand motion. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he talks with his hands, and what he talks is nonsense. Apparently. So, yeah, he, he's the professor's boss, apparently. So, <laughs> he's saying no. <laughs> You're not allowed to just F off and not work for, like, a week. Yeah, we could go to the Arctic. That's not, like, a difficult thing. Why not? Sure. I'm dressed for it right now. <laughs> Professor so, is like, yeah, whatever. Instead of a professor, course. they're just gonna send these three mooks hey, to the Arctic. In their defense, we are kind of famous for being wonderful adventurers now. We did find a huge ass castle. Scott was a great adventurer. It didn't end well. <laughs> That's true. But we got technology. That's very true. Yes, tell me about the polar bear. I'm not familiar with it. Eh, ice hole. What is with us and holes in this game? I don't know. Gotta like a nice hole. I know, but it's like, oh, it's, go into the deep hole. Hey, go into this Dracula hole. Hey, find an ice hole. The holes, they don't cease. It's true. Tell me about you, you tool. Oh, he's a curator. Apparently he curates multiple aquariums simultaneously. He is the busiest curator you will ever run into in the history of ever. 
<laughs> Man, I'm just constantly just driving everywhere. It's, it's kind of miserable, actually. Maybe he's not actually a curator. He just thinks he is, and people just pay attention to him for the ten minutes he's there. And then he leaves, and they just ignore him. Uh, well, he said he was filling in here, so maybe they don't actually have any good staff. And they're like, let's bring him in for five minutes, and then when we're set up, we'll hire somebody else. He's he's a temporary <laughs> guy. I, I guess he is a temp worker, yeah. I mean, shit. There's, there's an agency for curators. <laughs> uh... I choose to believe that that's the thing. Economy's been hard for everyone. Let's see. So we, we could go to the Arctic and take care of this, but uh, I don't know. Our friend Nancy asked us to go find scissors, so we should probably do that. Also, I'm going to look at these books we have to finally clear out these news that have been here for ages. So, yeah, we got to find... Yeah, got to get rid of all the news. Got to find a blue bird... Some jerk wanted us to salvage a ring, and he had bird hair, and I hated his guts. <laughs> oh, so that was the thing that happened. Um, oh, there's some sick fish. It's miserable. We fucked that up. We found a dog. Haven't heard anything about these monk seals. Uh-oh. They're critically endangered, you know. Uh, I did not know. Oceana wants us to apparently get inside a business adventure with her. Something about voices of the night sky? Oh yeah, this is about the coins we've been finding. I guess. We've been finding a lot of weird coins. And they're mysterious. Indeed. Yeah, we have to find these scissors. Deep hole. Yeah. Once again, back into the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, uh, you know, let's let's clear out some of this collection list as well. Wait. Oh no! Wait a minute! Something's coming over the radio. There's interference. Collect the coins. What is with me and spooky emails or radio calls? I think at this point you're accidentally involving yourself in things that the Mafia doesn't want you to do. Yeah, but why would the Mafia want ancient coins? This is probably some Don's collection. Maybe he was whacked. It could be. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. It could be. Either that or an ancient celestial cult. That's my guess. Cultists. Could be. Cultists is always a good choice. Pretty sure there's like some Indiana Jones plot like that, right? Probably. Give it ten minutes. <laughs> y yeah, but why? Why? Why, Oceana? Why? Why would they call us? Why? Collect the coins, let me borrow ten dollars. I know you're good for it. <laughs> it's probably just Nancy hiding behind her boat on her jet ski, just calling us up, like, collect the coins, please, so I can sell them on eBay. I need the full They're set. not even old. She just dropped them over the side with her scissors. <laughs> uh, all right, tell us about your business venture. Also, we get money for filling out maps. Hot damn. Yeah, okay. I I do enjoy making money for just going places. It's like not making money for free. And nicely, no one has ever mapped these places before, so... Well, you know, underwater mapping, you know. Eh. Yeah. Strange new worlds. Strange new wet worlds. Sea worlds. I think what happened there is you sold the map and then she was like, oh, by the way, do you want me to sell that? Because I already did. <laughs> well, I didn't really finish a map. It's just, like partial. I think she's kind of just giving us some money ahead of time. Like, man, when we publish this thing, we're going to be so rich. 
Here's a little money to keep you doing it. selling maps on margin? That seems terrible. Yeah, but we're good for it. <laughs> okay. This won't end She is kind of technically our, our boss, so... And uh, also okay. our only way off the island. <laughs> so it's not like we can really leave. So we have money now, which means we can actually buy things. <laughs> We've been holding out, so... Alright. Now, the key thing to buy here is a bag. Ooh. I need a bag. A bigger bag. I love bags. So with this bigger bag, I can finally salvage much larger items. Which is important, because the more items you can salvage, the more money you can make. So you need to spend money to make money. So it goes. True. Uh, do I want a battery? Or a silencer? Or a support tank? I don't know. Oh, man. I could also get light ink, which is totally useless. But instead, complete waste of time. You're gonna grab more air for for being able to breathe. Yeah, the battery's useful because then I can use the uh, pulsar to stun things easier. Just could, but then again, the silencer makes it so I can avoid things, so I don't have to pulse them at all. Hmm. Well, that must be. I guess I'll just. That must be a silencer for your breathing equipment. I yeah, I think so. You're not an well, underwater we... James Bond. No. That is unfortunate. Well, I, I, I presume what it does is that it's actually for the... When your, remote, your air is getting expelled, typically it creates lots of noise in yeah, the water. Yeah, that, that's what that's, I assume. That's a, yeah, so that's a concern that actually happens fairly often while diving. Certain animals are disturbed by it, so... Like, for example, with manta rays. You can snorkel by them, fine, no problem. But they aren't wildly happy about people scuba diving near mm -hmm. them. They don't like the sound of the air. Same Whereas thing with manatees, actually. That silencer should dissipate the, the exhaust... Yeah. Into, yeah. Into well, presumably, it's like, it's scattering the bubbles. Yeah, because it. It, it looked like it was a, a, a fractalizer. So. Yeah. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I was preferring to think that you were an underwater James Bond. <laughs> that may be the case. However, <laughs> semicolon. Okay, so we're gonna go down that hole again and see if we can find these scissors. Wouldn't it actually be, like, hard as crap to find scissors in the ocean? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of expectations in this game. Like, yeah, there's a specific object somewhere. Can you find it? Well, the, the ocean is huge, you know, and objects are very tiny. Yeah, sure, why not? I got a radar gun. Why not? What's, what's the reward for this? $10? How much are scissors? $6? I smell profit. <laughs> Go to Walmart, oh. buy scissors, found your scissors. Yeah. So, uh, an interesting thing also is that uh, Oceana has another thing that she can do. In certain areas, she'll give you a tour. So That's cool. We'll let her she'll give us a tour. So we can see some of the neat stuff around here, and she'll give us a little background information about parts of areas. It's completely useless, but it's, it's fun. A little relaxing thing. Like, eh, I want to learn a thing about a place. Some of those penguins are taking right turns. <laughs> penguins are quite good at taking harsh turns. Oh, it, was, it was just interesting to see one take a right turn. Like, hey. <laughs> but I want to work at the birds! Apparently tours are not meant for sightseeing. They are meant for going at breakneck speeds. <laughs> There's a lot of places to hit. Oceana's a busy person. She's got all these maps to sell. <laughs> it's true. She's got a business to run. <laughs> no time for lollygagging. Humphead Rasses. Ah, good old Humphead Rass. I, I, I think I know that, Oceana. We've only been there, like, five times now. <laughs> You've gone with us twice. <laughs> Unless you're pretending that we're somebody else here, in which case, okay, fine, whatever. It's a practice run. Yeah. Presumably she'll be doing actual tours down here, so fair enough. Uh, I don't know why I keep on clicking the zoom spot. It's always Sark's Demoiselles. It's always those damn fish mocking me. Damn you, yeah, Stark yeah, and your Demoiselle. <laughs> a little oh, bit of map people. left. Just a little bit of map left. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm missing map right here. Because for some reason, it starts you actually just in front of the bit of map you need, which is the most infuriating thing ever. 
Yep, it looks like it, it has in, in fact. Done okay, that. I think that's literally all I can get because the other bit's like leaving the map. Map. <laughs> if I have to go back there and get that other part of the map, I'm going to be annoyed. Let's see. Just turn yourself into Samus Aran here. <laughs> <laughs> have a visor. Where are you, scissors? I have a radar gun. Where are you, scissors? Yes, because that would be helpful. Beat's trying to find it by eye. Let's see, I found a rock. That's true. <laughs> Such a remarkable thing to find on top of other rocks. A different rock. And yet, a third kind of rock. <laughs> Strange encounters of the rock kind. Uh, big money. Ooh, a ball. A sphere. Could be a pearl. That might actually... Could be... Or a cannonball. Oh, man, it could be a cannonball. Well, it was small, though, and light. I was able to lift it with my hands. Grape shot. Okay, fair enough. Could it could have been... Th that would have... Well, in the middle of the Pacific, or though... Or it could just be... In the middle of the Pacific... Uh... They dropped an awful lot of stuff off the side. That's true. That's... A, lot of, a lot of the weaponry and stuff wasn't well kept, so there was... It's just littered down there. Yeah, but and that could just be that could be a four pound shot. Yeah, you never know. Was there a lot of naval battles involving? It wasn't cannons really so much here? naval battles. It was the Spanish going back and forth from Spain to the Caribbean. Yeah, fair enough. And they dumped a ton of stuff off the side. So we found ourselves a sea star, a specifically one that is a uh, Certonorda semiregularis, which its name means the semiregular rigid valerian. Now, what is a valerian? A uh, valerian is a type of flowering perennial that's found in various parts of the globe that are used in, as herbs in herbal medicine. They, you can you specifically use extracts from it to uh, treat things like insomnia and nervous tension. And apparently they thought that sea star looked awfully like a valerian. There you go. I thought it kind of did, so it works for me. Not really familiar like with valerians it. at all, personally. I've looked at them before. We have them in our botanical garden. Aw, oh, yeah. Mola Mola. Fucking ocean sunfish. Big, heavy fish. They're kind of weird looking, but they're also awesome. Yeah, but well, they're weird looking because they're basically just giant, horribly disfigured looking puffer fish. That's basically it. That, that is exactly why they're weird looking. Oh, but they are awesome. Yeah, and they're heavy as, as can be, so... And I love sunfish. They're so cool. I also really enjoy sunfish. You know who also really likes sunfish? Red. Mola Mola, also known as the ocean sunfish, are the world's heaviest known bony fish, with adults averaging 1,000 kilograms or 2,200 pounds. They're large fish, averaging almost six feet long. Their distinctive fins make them taller than they are long in some cases. Seriously, hold on, because this fish is so weirdly put together, you have to hear some of this shit. It's like, when you get something from Ikea, and you're just missing parts, and you make do with whatever you have. Mola Mola have, relative to their body size, the shortest spinal column of any known fish, lacking a number of vertebrae. They also lack swim bladders. They don't have ribs, they don't have pelvic fins, doesn't have scales, its bones have huge pockets of cartilage, so it's missing some of those. Despite being a bony fish, its bones are lighter than regular bone, so it's still the heaviest known fish somehow. Also, you might have noticed it doesn't have a tail, but whatever. The caudal fin of the sunfish is a tiny little stubby rudder-like thing called a clavis. It's basically entirely useless for locomotion, instead using its dorsal anal fins like oars. It's a weird fucking fish. Mola Mola are instantly recognizable by the very distinct shape, which is known for freaking divers unfilling with them the fuck out. Their name comes from the Latin word for millstone, which makes sense really. It's a big gray creature with rough, rounded, solid body. It's also ironically called a moonfish for the same reason in many languages. The Chinese transliteration of its name, amusingly, means toppled car fish, which, sure, why not? The English sunfish comes from the Mola's habit of floating horizontally at the surface of the water, basking in the sun. What's the reason they bask in the sun? Well, there are two theories. The first is they're just warming up, recharging for going down deeper. Sure. The other thing? Oh man, these fish? Absolutely crawling with parasites. So many. 
Basting at the surface lets gulls come pick things off. These things are usually found in open water, but they'll just come inland to kelp beds just to let smaller fish pick shit off of them. Mola Mola eat primarily jellyfish and other small little soft body things. Squids, small fish, salps, usual fare. These things aren't exactly the best thing nutritionally speaking, so they have to eat a ton of it. What eats Mola Mola then? Well, sharks and orcas, like usually the adults, and then also us, mostly in East Asia. The young though, man, tuna, mahi, mahi, all sorts of things eat these things. They're, they're tiny little fish. They actually resemble puffer fish, which makes sense. The mola mola and the puffers are in the same taxonomic order. They actually look like little suns, it's kind of cute. I'm going to ruin that now by telling you that sea lions reported tearing the fins off of small molas and throwing them around like frisbees. Sea lions are dicks, yo. While the actual mating practices of a mola are mostly unknown, what we do know is that they produce as many as 300 million eggs at a time, which is more than any other vertebrate. That is a lot of goddamn eggs. I've seen mola mola in the wild, they're really not too rare. They're found throughout the world in temperate and tropical waters and are really docile. So rock on, cool ass weird Ikea fish. Thank you for that, Red. That was enlightening. Indeed. Ah, unicorn fish. Hanging I also out. Like unicorn fish. With a weird, stupid, pointless horn. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, this looks like something that's potentially made of metal. Could it be scissors? No, it's an ingot. Well, you find an ingot. Could be lead, could be lead, could be lead. Could be steel, I guess. Iron. Iron, steel. <laughs> Probably lead. It's probably <laughs> lead. Jar. Not sure why somebody dropped a jar off their boat here, but people need oh, to no. stop littering. Actually, no, they should keep on littering because I like getting their freebies. Everybody litter. Very true. And another sea starfish star. Is back. I think this is a different one. Or is this the same one? The same starfish. Ooh, coin. Cassiopeia, the seated queen, is one of the original Ptolemaic constellations. Caspia was the wife of Cepheus, king of Ethiopia, and the mother of Andromeda. Remember how her boasting of being more beautiful than the Nereids got Andromeda chained to a cliff to be eaten? Yeah, this was Cassiopeia's punishment. She was flung into the depths of deep space. Ah, uh, that does not look... There is a lot of stuff down here. Yeah, well, apparently... I, I choose to believe that a barge, like, exploded out here. It was, like, it was, like literally... Well, this, this is basically an impact crater, so it could be that there was a barge, like, right here, and then the impact crater hit it. And that's how this entire place happened. There was a barge, Good and it got hit by a meteor. Rest in peace, barge. <laughs> They're shipping a bunch of ingots. Apparently so. Ooh, I see circling things. <laughs> that's a quest thing. We found scissors. Oh, Man, what was she doing right over this hole that she dropped scissors down it? Was she literally cutting Juggling. someone's hair over the hole? She could have been. You ever wonder where what she does with all her garbage? Yeah. Straight down the hole. That could explain some of the stuff down here, I guess. <laughs> Maybe she gets like adventure hair cutting tours. <laughs> you ever get your hair cut over a deep hole? <laughs> Why no, that's worth 30 extra dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Ever wanted to get your hair cut and watch a tiger shark eat the leavings? Do I ever? <laughs> you know, I actually kind of do want that. <laughs> it, was, it seemed like interesting, just the uh, entire thing of us like doing random activities over mysterious places. Like, you ever got your nose picked on the Himalayas? I'm not sure why you would pay someone to do that, but that was the only thing I could think of in a very short little span of time. You're weird, Zora. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> back rub. You ever hear? Ever had your back rubbed on the top of the Himalayas? That sounds marginally better. Wally picks your nose. <laughs> uh, I was more going less of the e exotic environment. The fact that uh, adding a shark to anything always makes it exciting. Yeah, but you don't want to give a shark, you know, a taste for hair. That's like those dolls that used to eat hair. That sounds yeah. like danger. 
And you've got this sharks sh killing each other for hair. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what I meant, but okay. <laughs> Start seeing sharks just going around wearing wigs. Like, man, the ocean's got <laughs> fucked up nowadays. Oh no, they've understand fashion. Uh, the day a shark starts wearing a dress, that's the day that the ocean's just gone to hell. It's true. Science will have gone too far. <laughs> then we'll start seeing dolphins shaming sharks. You're ugly, shark! You're ugly and I hate you! Shark goes cry away into his deep hole. Poor shark. Nobody will understand your inner beauty. Check your dolphin privilege. <laughs> Trigger warning. Shark shaming. <laughs> okay, there's something around here, but I'm surrounded by tiny holes, so this thing could be behind a wall, and I just don't know. I just don't know. But at least you found the scissors. I found the scissors, so that's an accomplishment. Hopefully we'll get a free haircut out of this. It's basically all I'm aiming for at this point. At least one free haircut. It's hard to get a haircut done in the middle of the ocean, you know. It's very true. I'm not trusting John Eric to do it. I've seen how he treats his beard. Yeah. This echo sonar thing is kind of weird. Uh, it's, it's somewhat scientific, I guess. Yeah. It's, it beats the pulsar in terms of realism. <laughs> I'm healing yeah. things via electricity. Pachoo, pachoo, pachoo! It's recharging their own natural battery. <laughs> yes. The healing power of electrons! Mm. Yeah. I've got still more slots in my bag. It's basically all I'm aiming for at this point, too. It's like, you know, I might as well fill up the bag. If you're going to go get things looked at, you might as well have a full bag. Yep. Efficiency. It's the way you do it. Let's see. And it's not like this place is bereft of loot or anything. <laughs> That's true. Another sphere. A mysterious orb. I hope a wizard dropped this one. A wizard sanctified orb. It's got plus two against ogres. Oh boy. Huck it at their head and pray. <laughs> oh no! Orbs! My one and only weakness! Ah! Yeah. How did they know? It's like a wizard told them. Damn you, wizards. Ogre turns to sludge. Ah, and a box. <laughs> a mysterious box. You've got some orbs and some boxes and a rock. I hope it's full of crabs. A crab box would be the best thing. It's f filled with crabs. Or spiders. Or spiders. That's fine. Probably crabs. Come on, map. Come on, map. Come on, map. Yes! Map! We did it! Yes! Yay!